Chemistry focuses on things invisible yet all-encompassing. It rigorously examines seemingly insignificant yet fundamental molecules and how their small properties and processes drive life itself. Proteins are the very foundation of our existence. Complex biological molecules constitute all the living things around us and their properties determine life and death. Because they are so undeniably crucial, malfunctions in their structure and development can lead to profound consequences. There is so much we have yet to understand about these essential processes, and certainly much to be gained by discovery. The Cavaniero Lab at the University of Wisconsin-Madison studies protein folding through a variety of techniques and methods, including laser-enhanced NMR spectroscopy and computational analysis. They focus on one of the key concepts of chemistry, how the structure of molecules influences their function. In Chemistry 109, students learn how proteins are composed of building blocks known as amino acids. The primary structure of a protein refers to the sequence of amino acids. The secondary structure of a protein describes a unique, regular, recurring arrangement of amino acids stabilized by hydrogen bonds. Each amino acid can have different properties based on their side chains. These side chains determine the tertiary structure of a protein or its overall 3D arrangement. As some side chains are hydrophobic, they will fold inwards and away from the aqueous environment. Hydrophilic amino acids will readily interact with water. It is properties like these in amino acids which determine the structure and thus the function and reactivity of a protein. Overall, this process is known as protein folding, and it is absolutely crucial to determining the protein's functionality within an organism. This is an example of structure influencing function on a massive scale, and it is the central focus of the Cavian Nero group. My name is Jasmine Rati. I'm a junior undergrad here. I've been undergraduate research with the Cavanero Group since spring of my freshman year, and our lab is really just looking into understanding the mechanisms of protein folding and how they're fundamental to life. Each protein has a native state or native conformation, which is the most stable arrangement of the molecule where it is folded correctly and able to carry out its function. However, when a protein misfolds, it enters a non-native state, its function is impaired. Protein aggregation refers to how misfolded proteins interact with each other. The clumping together of these denatured proteins is caused by conformational changes that expose hydrophobic regions. Jasmine is tackling this problem in protein aggregation head-on by researching molecular chaperones and how these can save potentially misfolded or non-native proteins. To me, it's just understanding how proteins fold. And so there's a lot of aspects that go into protein folding, such as like release from the ribosome, like synthesis of the protein, but then there's also these like molecular chaperones that aid in the protein folding. So mine is to really understand is how do molecular chaperones aid those proteins in folding to their native conformation as well as staying in their native conformation. And if they were to start to aggregate, like how do they rescue them back? As a polypeptide emerges from a ribosome, molecular chaperones help them fold correctly. One specific family of chaperone proteins that is being studied by the Cavaniero group is HSP70, also known as DNAK. HSP70 is a heat shock protein that specializes in preventing and treating aggregated proteins. HSP70 is able to do this through interacting with the hydrophobic regions of misfolded proteins and refolding them using energy from ATP hydrolysis along with the aid of other chaperones. However, the exact way that HSP70 refolds its client proteins is still unknown and is being actively researched throughout the scientific community. It's just unknown, like we don't necessarily know if the protein's directly folded by the chaperone when it's bound to the chaperone or if the protein folds like after being released from the chaperone. So those are two possible theories that a lot of labs are exploring and just seeing which one's more favorable and more valuable to life essentially. But the Cavaniero group's research has a broader purpose than to simply study protein folding. They hope to apply what they have learned about protein folding to help control diseases which are caused by protein aggregation, such as Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's, and cancer. In order to find solutions to these diseases, we need to understand the root of their cause first. By studying protein aggregation and protein folding, the Cavaniero group can help in finding solutions for these diseases. 
In Chemistry 109, students learn about the importance of a molecule structure, and by studying how deleterious changes in a protein structure can cause macroscopic impacts, the Cavaniero lab is proving how essential proteins and their structure are to all of life's processes.